It is 7.40 now on this Saturday morning. Chef Wendell tossing some tomatoes That's around right. this morning. I uh, professed my love for tomatoes earlier. Oh, I know. Here you go. <laughs> I've actually, you know, my husband, when I met him, said, I don't like tomatoes. Oh, no, and that's a deal eats, breaker. <laughs> now he eats caprese salad. He doesn't pick them out. Now he... You know, he wouldn't eat it like an apple like I would, but yeah. he's come around. But your loving influence on him. He's come around. You know? Yeah. You're, you're, the, you're, the, you're the teacher in the house. What do you do? Mama <laughs> does, right? So. Oh, and my kids love tomatoes. Love tomatoes. So well, they would like this. Well, they would, and corn on the cob, too. Uh, well, tomatoes, we talked about that in the first section. Mm -hmm. But um, what I'm going to talk about with corn here briefly before I make, I grill the corn first. Okay. I shucked it. We all know how to shuck corn. Yep. Come on, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I like to Good take, job for the kids. I like to take corn, leave it in the shell mm -hmm. and then put it over the grill because yep. a natural steamy yep. juice that's what we do too much more intense yeah. yep now i grilled the corn today which again brings out more of the flavor so okay. I did, all i did was to put it on a little um uh, i had a grill and i lit it and we're just going to do this so. awesome but corn is a good source of antioxidants i don't know the people it's a vitamin pill on a cob let me share this with you guys it's got uh an uh, antioxidants uh, that play a vital role in preventing cancers, aging, and inflammation in oh, humans. Isn't okay. that wonderful? And again, you can go to the website, uh, Wish TV, and find all this where the sources came from. Uh, carotenoids oxygen, uh, that support the immune system. It's got potassium, zinc, magnesium, copper, iron, manganese, vitamin B, and it's high in fiber. Woo! There you go. So, anyway, what we've done here. Try to get local corn. We want to support our local growers as much as we can. Right. Absolutely. So okay. go buy it. Shake the hand of the farmer. Ask them what they have. They grew it. Say, ask them questions yeah. about the tomato. Were they sprayed? Yada yada. People need to know this. We just don't know what's happening. So, anyway, so I roasted the corn. I've got some fresh peas. Well, frozen peas. Yeah, I can't they lie. look great. Mm -hmm. um, now we're gonna make the salad. We're gonna fill the tomatoes. Green onions. Fresh cilantro, green onion anti-cancer, cilantro is a heavy metal magnet. I've got chia and flax seed for okay. omega-3 and protein and powder fiber out. Yeah. Oh, we got fiber going here. Now I got some yellow summer squash. Okay, got I was folate. wondering what that was. Okay. Wonderful folate in their vitamins and minerals. Now when I hollowed out the tomatoes, I didn't waste the why waste the good stuff inside? Yeah. So I'm gonna put that right and I chopped them up. I, yeah. I, I chopped right. them. Juice and all, don't worry about. Now the protein in here is tempeh. I think we've talked about tempeh before to know mm -hmm. kind of what tempeh is. So it's a protein source. It's made from soybeans that are fermented. Now the dressing I made out of apple cider vinegar, which is huge right now. Mm -hmm. Little maple syrup, little Dijon, a little salt, and some of my avocado oil. Nice. Which I've gone to. So I do this. This is so simple. You, know, you just kind of whip it up like this. Hey, on Monday I'm going to be at Fort Benjamin Harrison. Nice. They're having a health fair out there for adults. Awesome. And they've asked me to join them, and I'm so flattered. And we're going to go out there from 9.30 to 12.30, I believe. What are you on. sprinkling? I like Himalayan salt. Okay. It's got <laughs> minerals and vitamins in it. Because if you look at the second ingredient on Morton salt, it's called dextrose, which is what? Sugar. Yeah. So mix that up. Okay. See what we got here? Now, I've taken a couple tomato cups. Now, I did hollow them out. I turned them upside down on yeah. a paper towel for a while. Okay. To get all the juice out of so it. So it's not just, too for watery. A, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So I'm taking this little lettuce here, and this is going to be a wonderful thing you could serve on a nice, hot summer day with a nice Chablis. Now, I love the beautiful presentation, don't get me wrong, but you could just make the salad, too. Oh, just goodness, eat the salad. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know, if you're oh, kind of feeling a little lazy that day. No, that's okay. <laughs> I'm just, I think that the, the more fun you make food, the more apt yeah, people are Yeah, no, to and go it's beautiful, it. don't oh, get yeah. me wrong. And then oh, you got your yeah. books here. Books Gosh. are selling like hotcakes. Good. And I don't even need hotcakes. <laughs> no, you don't need hotcakes. No, you do not. <laughs> anyway, 